Churchill Capital recently announced their merger with Lucid Motors. After the merger was confirmed, Lucid Motors dropped 50%. They went from $60 a share down to $30 a share, basically overnight. And a lot of people were wondering, why is this happening? What's going to happen next? And really, the main reason why it dropped so much is because the stock price went from $13 a share all the way up to $60 a share in the matter of like two months. And the company has not yet produced any vehicles. Um, they're, they're set to have their first vehicles roll off production line in late 2021. But either way you look at it, the company's valued at about $50 billion without ever having uh, gotten a vehicle into the hands of a customer. So right now at 20, what is it, $27, $28 a share, um, I think after the merger was announced, a lot of people took their profits off the table. A lot of people were in it since $13, $14, $15 a share. They doubled or tripled their money. They wanted to secure some profits. And that's why I think we saw a lot of, we saw the big drop in Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors. But now where it is right now, I think once we see the stock market start to turn around, we see a couple green days. I think we will see CCIV trend upwards, but long term, for me, if you're looking long term, this is still a very risky investment because they haven't even delivered any vehicles yet. And I'm not trying to be negative or be down. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. But all I'm saying is if you're looking at a company that's valued at $50 billion, that's never actually delivered a vehicle to a customer, you don't know what's going to happen. People might not like the vehicles. There could be malfunctions. They could have trouble getting it off the production line. You don't know what's going to happen. So, it's very risky long term, but short term, you know, you could see some upside, especially leading up to the merger um, date. We don't have a confirmed date yet, but it will happen in 2021. So let me know your thoughts on CCIV. Are you going to be invested in it? Me personally, I'm going to stay away from it for now. I did invest in it at one point and I sold it when it was around $40, $45 a share. But right now for me, I'd rather stay away from it. Um, just because long term, I'm trying to look at stocks long term and long term CCIV, while it does have a lot of potential, if it is able to accomplish all the goals they have set, in reality, it's going to be about five years really before we start seeing them being able to produce tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of vehicles every single year. So I know it's not about what they can do right now and it's about what they can do in the future, but either way, they, they still have not even gotten one single vehicle into the hands of a customer yet. So that's just, you know, a pretty big deal in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think.